Good afternoon. The state police officer who was texting teenage girls, then arrested on federal drug dealing charges, could put a lot of cases in jeopardy. As News 13's Jeannie Nguyen reports, a lot of the people he arrested during his time on the job may get a free pass. Jeannie. Kim, an attorney working with the DA's office, says it'll be hard to win Daniel Capehart's cases because he's lost all his credibility. We look at any cases that he's a witness at in to any extent. Late last month, New Mexico State Police Officer Daniel Capehart was arrested for drug distribution in San Juan County. According to a criminal complaint, the 33-year-old abused his position as a law enforcement officer by stealing drugs from arrests. That's when he would give the drugs to women he was romantically or sexually interested in, which included a 16-year-old girl. Without him, basically they don't have a case, and now his credibility is zero. Stephen Murphy is an attorney who's working alongside the San Juan County District Attorney's Office to review any open cases from Cape Hart's time as a police officer. So far, his firm has about 20 cases to look over. The DA's office will look at almost 50 more. Mostly uh, what his involvement is, is uh, DWI, what we consider traffic stuff. Uh, some of the DWIs uh, resulted in felony arrest, uh, that he was the... Uh, only witness to the case. In other words, Murphy believes all these cases with Capehart could be dismissed by the district attorney. I think the district attorney will just look at him and say, hey, you know, uh, this is a bad guy. Uh, we have to assume he did bad things on all his cases. And Murphy hopes people will take advantage of the break they could be getting. The good ones never come back. And if you lose a case with a bad one, they'll be back next week. The chief deputy DA told the Farmington Daily News last week that Cape Hart was the only witness in most of the cases they're looking into. Because of that, it's going to be hard to prosecute and they, and, and they could end up being dismissed. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeannie. Now, Cape Hart is now on paid suspension from state police and is in a halfway house here in Albuquerque.